I'll start by patching up my voices so they're ready to go. DPO Sawtooth to Optimix Channel 1, Final Out to Channel 2. I'm also going to use the Morphogene. Each channel of the Morphogene has a different sound on it. I'm going to run the left channel into input 1 of the Mod Demix. and the right channel through the echophone, then to the Modimix aux input. This will give the two channels roughly the same amplitude as they come out the sum, which I'm patching to Optimix's aux in. And then the Optimix sum goes to the herb verb. Let's use this slow math cycle to open the first Optimix channel. We'll use the related EOC gate to clock the Tempe, and channel 1 set to divide by 1 to clock the Rene X channel. Let's use the Cartesian CV to sequence this VCO. I'm molting it through the CV bus in case I want to use this somewhere else too. I've also turned off access to all but the bottom row on the Cartesian channel to maintain this slow four-step sequence. Let's bring in some ambient noise here. patch up Y, let's make the gate sequence sparse and the rise times on Maths Channel 1 slow, so that the Y sequence brings in small cascades of notes only periodically. Now we'll clock Y with Tempe at times 16. Patch YCV to DPO B 1 volt per octave and trigger Maths Channel 1 with its gate output. Let's add some more Y gates. Let's add some variation to the Y sequence with its CV input. I'm molting the Cartesian CV to the Y CV input and engaging CV.snake and CV.snh. We'll need a medium rate clock to the Y mod input to engage the sample and hold. Let's modulate the timbre of the final output as well. I'm going to use math sum to the external source input, turn up that modulation. And X C V to the fold C V input. Let's turn off X quantization and let all the locations glide. bring in the other channel of the Morphogene. It's a short electric piano loop I played in the same key as this sequence. Let's unshackle the Cartesian sequence a little. Adding access stages will make this baseline more active and will also affect the Y channel's snake pattern more frequently, making it sound more animated as well. I'm 
going to animate the morphogene a little more too. Let's clock it. And let this slow moving woggle bug modulate a couple parameters. We'll use the smooth CV to modulate gene size and the woggle CV patched through a maths attenuator to modulate morph. Let's also use the slow XCV to modulate the tilt of the herb verb. 